Here we come, walk down the street. We get the funniest looks from everyone we meet. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys, and people say we monkey around. But we're too busy singing to put anybody down. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Bump Monkey Mafia. I'm Frankie V, here with my co host and broadcasting partner. See you around the good guy. And of course, don't forget... Double teach our Muckle Tim's in the house. And the smooth operator, Mr. Wall. The gang's all back. We're all together again. Yes. That's good, because it's Flat cold hands. in here. <laughs> it's it cold. Really... We need body warmth. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of body warmth. <laughs> Scoot in closer, guys. So are we. Scoot in closer. Smooth operator has shoes on tonight. It does. And it's cold, man. I didn't think that was possible. They're slip-ons, so don't be too afraid. <laughs> Well, what's up, guys? What are you opening up to? Stuff. Stuff. It's been a busy week, brother. You I know am. what is up? Hmm. The Bump Monkey Mafia year-end awards. Hell yeah, they are. I voted. Have you guys? I voted. I voted. We should have given everybody little stickers. <sighs> a little monkey. Little, little, I, voted. <laughs> I voted stickers. Holding yes. a banana. <laughs> guys, I mean, it's... Going to the dog it's store. It's awesome we got them up. <laughs> They're blowing up. Get up there. Go on there and vote. Vote for your favorite, man. Vote There's a write-in favorite. option. If you don't see who you like on there, write it in. Yeah, we might have angered some people because we didn't get their names on there. But that's why there's a write-in. You can always write in that smooth operator. It's right like there. when Ric Flair didn't see his name on the presidential ballot. He wrote it in himself. Yes. I did we should have all voted for Ric Flair. <laughs> I voted for... <laughs> Woo! Whatever. Yeah. Well, it has been... <laughs> Silence. Dramatic pause. <laughs> it has been a busy weekend. We had Mid South Wrestling Alliance on Friday. Me and Frankie V were up in Salina, Kansas for XWE. Guys, we'll be covering your show in a separate podcast this Friday. It'll be a very long and detailed podcast. Where we also have an interview with Chris Vell, Christian Temple, and Merrick McMichaels on there that will air right before then. So let's get right into it. Two of you jackasses worn out the show on Friday, but. Hey, I had a very valid excuse, sir. I went oh, MIA that? for like a week. He did. He did. He did. I was at a Christmas party. For your church, okay? Yeah. Jesus loves wrestling more Jesus. than he loves the church, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa, I saw whoa. a picture. Who posted I think Chris Crody posted it. And it was a statue of Korean Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Korean Jesus is so jacked. He is Jack. I don't know what you're talking it? about. I haven't seen it. I oh, thought it was Cody with the wig God. at first, oh, but it wasn't. <laughs> That's my Jesus right there. Just <laughs> my Jesus can beat up your Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I like the baby Jesus. Well, me and the smooth operator will review the show real fast and we'll move on. I was there. We were there. It was a packed house. <laughs> Just because uh, you guys were there doesn't mean it was packed. It was. It was. A whole lot more packed. Sold out. Back. At least that one bench was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we kicked off tonight with a new form tag team of John O'Malley and Jacob O'Brien, the Omega. The Omega. The Omega. Man, I love that I love name. It. I love that That wasn't tag even team. there. They defeated the Dynamic Shield, a couple guys from Tulsa, Justin Dynamite and Sean Shields. And, dude, I was actually impressed with, with Dynamic Shield. They did a lot of things in that ring that I, I haven't seen before. I was like, whoa, this is pretty good. This turned into a really good match. Yeah, I mean, they looked solid, but... O'Malley and O'Brien, did you like that finisher they had? Uh, refresh my mind. It was a power bomb choke slam. Off yes, the top rope. yes, Wait. I do remember that. Like one of them jumped off the top with the person. You had O'Malley holding one of the, I don't remember who it was, and you had Jake on t- the top, grabbing by the throat. They both Jake jumps, yeah, O'Malley a, drops. Power slam choke bomb. That would so O'Malley did a, just a regular power bomb. That would have been more impressive if O'Malley would have jumped off the top. <laughs> O'Malley. <laughs> Shout out to O'Malley. We want to see you off the top rope, sir. <laughs> moon salt. Moon salt. Moon salt. Mike Crawford, Drake Alley's going to buy a new ring. <laughs> we moved on to the best of Cruiserweight 7 Series match two between Xavier, Christian Temple, and Corbin Sage. Xavier got the win in this, but Christian Temple, man, I think he blew these guys away. It was like Moon Salt City in there. Moon Salt City. Like he did like two, three yeah, of them. That dude like, puts on gosh. a hell of a show every time I see him. Can we just start a the hashtag new guy. Salt City? <laughs> uh, that'd be cool. Xavier drew some heat like I've never seen at that place before. Oh, yeah. People were so mad. Like they, There well, was see, one guy that actually got up and left. 
and didn't come back until the end of the match. And there's an, another person that just got up and like went and told, he's yelling at me. Somebody do something yeah. about that. He's it's, yelling at me. Here's my thing. <laughs> Last time I saw Xavier, he spit on a fan. So I don't see how much you can like that guy. Well, that it was, was that that whole crowd that got spit on was like ready to rumble with Xavier. He had a lot of heat. It was a lot of heat, but I mean, hey, that's that's what he what they want. So. That's your job, sir. But he's won both <laughs> matches in that best of seven, so that sets it up for December sixteenth. There will be a ladder match. Not sure quite Ooh. who's in it just yet. Well, you did, I think you uh, say, Brock uh, Landers, Kyle King, Kyle King from Kansas, yeah. Brock Landers, I think, is in that I as well. I love ladder matches. Uh, you didn't mention what happened at the end of that match after uh, Xavier got that win. He got fined $5,000 for spitting on the fans. $5,000? $5,000 for spitting on the fans. So good job, Xavier. <laughs> I mean, it if he keeps got spitting, fired. he ain't going to have a job. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mike was ready to kick him out right then and there. That's a whole lot of lap dances. The same. I don't know. We need to (laughs) contact Aaron Helms on the uh, how much the lap dance and what you can get for what. (laughs) Red, white, more strippers than you. This guy goes to the strip club on a Monday and spends thirteen hundred dollars while watching (laughs) Raw. That's one big stripper. So what you're saying is he was in the bathroom the whole time. (laughs) Um, Hey, they don't call him the mayor of Titty City for no reason. True that, true that. I bet he gives a mustache. Aaron Helms loves two things. I am the founder of Aaron Helms loves two things. Bud Light. Bud Light. We Uh, love you, Aaron. We moved on to uh, Mid-South Wrestling Alliance Tag Team Champion Dean Lambert taking on Tyson James. Uh, Dean got the win in this one, but Tyson James' boots is what really got me going. At one time, Brent yelled at him. He goes, Hey, Tyson, did you watch those with a red shirt? Tyson looks at him. He's like, yeah, shut up. <laughs> he looked right at me. He's like, yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> he dipped him in Kool-Aid before the match. Did Dean Lambert get that win? No, I, I think it was Tyson uh, that got that win. I thought it was too, but Oakland fan, man. I can't remember. I saw a lot of wrestling. I could have sworn it was Tyson that had that win. I'm pretty sure it was. I don't know. Who knows? We'll double check. We had a tag team match. <laughs> Brooks Mahali and Cody Burns. Defeated C.J. Ward and Brock Landers. Um, that was an impressive match. Mahali looked good, dude. Yeah. He looked like he had more than five moves to use. He, learned, he learned at least three new moves. He surpassed <laughs> Cena? Not yet. <laughs> but, yeah, but he, was, he learned at least three new moves. I mean, I me, me and Cody were up there. It's like, ooh, that's new. Oh, that one's new, too. <laughs> dude, Cody Burns impresses me every time I see him. Dude's a solid worker, man. Dude, dude's solid. He's young. Dude. He's got a... He's got a bright future. At, I at thought him. Brock Landers looked really good. Brock in that looked match. super looked awesome. Amazing. We love Opie. We love Opie. He looked really good in that match. Uh, it, overall, it was a really good match. Will Chambers and Drake Gallows went at it. Will Chambers gets the win over Drake Gallows. Uh, you know, this match was pretty solid. Drake always looked stellar in the ring. Will also looked really good as well. Dude, Will's yeah. looked very good the past couple of times he's, I've seen. He's him. been stepping it up. It looks he really good. Continues to improve, man. That, Those uh, uh, urban, he's a big urban kid, misfits, man. you know, they might have some, uh, some challenge going ahead. Well, they have a Merkel on 34th Street fight. Yes. It's the 16th. Oh, yeah. Look I just read about to that today. Tag yeah. team street fight? Yep. Hardcore. We moved on to the main event. Grizzly Gates oh, and Psycho exactly. Mike defeated the Saints of Pro Wrestling. Grizzly Gates got the pin over. I don't remember who the hell the Saints are. Please it tell was, me he didn't resuscitate. The big whoever. one. Wait, the, the bigger, bigger one the or big, the big, big one? Let me think. I think it was the bigger one. Uh, who knows? <laughs> Overall, Capo Fasso? Capo Fasso? <laughs> Grizzly continues to impress. Guys, that sets it up for December 16th. Big show. Did y'all hear who's coming? I did. Uh, I, I've known yeah, who's coming Rebel. for like... Wait, Re- Rebel from TNA. You know, oh, dude. Santa, Santa Claus is oh, coming. Oh, that I've guy. known. I mean, I have a direct line with Santa, guys. I play bridge with him. Now on that's Thursday just the nights. homeless dude you talked to under the bridge. <laughs> oh, so the, the Santa at the mall is not the real thing? Are you kidding you me? You missed the greatest <laughs> shit ever on Friday. When we were in the back. Now, Drake and Dean had filmed a video talking about how Santa was coming. Oh, yes. Santa, <laughs> Santa comes up and like talks to wait, him. Wait, wait, wait. We're all sitting there because nobody had a key to get in the building. Yeah. We're all standing so in the hallway. Us three. Uh, Rock, one Sanders, one of the Sanders, Adam Patrick, 
Yeah. Corbin Sage. Corbin. Corbin Sage and his wife. And like out of nowhere, around the corner, Santa Claus. Comes Santa Claus. <laughs> like this dude looks just like Santa Claus. <laughs> Red suspenders, yes. the white beard. Like all of us. Just uh, nobody we were speechless. Nothing. We were just like, oh my gosh, it's but really what the Santa hell Claus. Just happened? <laughs> Like, Rock was like, oh my god, he's real. <laughs> <laughs> like, he probably sat next to Santa like the first grade. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh, uh, that was impressive. That was. Uh, really we also got uh, Rubble coming. Love some Rubble. Rubble. No, but seriously, guys. So you're telling me the Santa at the mall is not the real thing? Well, he knows the real guy, but shut up, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on which mall you go to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a Mexican Santa. Bless the day, my whore. Is that even still considered a mall? Like, I, just, I, don't know, I thought it was a cool hangout. It's a huge flea the market huge. with really good food. Well, most flea markets do have good food, Cody. I thought it was I just a hangout really for shitty, the mafia. Like, in general. Like, the only thing, like, keeping it alive is, like... I know, I said on a podcast on Saturday, I was like, a shitty mall. I was like, was that too rough on the mall? <laughs> <laughs> What about like what? Bath and Body? There's a Bath Victoria's and Body Secret. works in there? Yeah. Victoria's Secret. Ooh, there still is a Victoria's Secret in there, I know. Champs, Route 21. Uh-huh. Used to be it used to be Fredericks of Hollywood. Yep. They're used and to They be. sold banana hammocks. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Yeah, I went in there. I asked for a banana hammock. Did you get one? I sure did. Nice. It was uh You're unpleasantly fucking pleasant. You're fucking he likes to wear it on his beard at home. <laughs> this was a long time Funny ago. Funny story about that. I used to have one I that was money. an elephant. Guess yes. what the trunk was. <laughs> <laughs> that was so, a present. <laughs> while we're here, I want to pull out the options for Bum Monkey Awards. And I want us to tell people who our clerk cup winners would be. Who you for the Bum Who we voted for. Yep. Let me pull them up. Who I voted for, like personally, Mr. Like, Mr. Mr. Smooth was... Operator voted for himself in all categories. <laughs> well, I mean, even women, woman of the year. Well, I put any lady that's willing to be with the Smooth Operator. You know, so that's that's a, I'm be... guessing that's a long list. That's a lucky lady. <laughs> There's a lot of voting going on on that one. <laughs> we may have to spend extra time on just that one vote alone. <laughs> Should we count up all of them? All right, guys. Wrestler of the Year, you have these choices. Double D, Drake Gallows, the Jerry Bostick, Chris Cambridge, Mr. Nasty, Psycho Mike, Sam Stackhouse, and Canadian Red Devil. Here's the deal, man. They're all on our list for a reason. They are. That's Should we give reasons? Like, technically, we made the awards. <laughs> so, we technically voted for everybody on there. Yeah, we did In pick way, everybody. Like we handpicked all those. We did. Those are our favorites, guys. <laughs> What's All yours? All of the above. Can I write that in? So who, do you, who, who, in your clear cut opinion, who's the best male wrestler in Oklahoma? Clear cut? I don't think there is a clear cut opinion for me. Like, there's really not, man. Who would you vote for on that list, anyways? That is a that's hard. I mean, there's just so so much talent on the on that list. It's kind of hard to narrow it down to just this one guy. Can I fill in half of a circle for one and half of a circle for another? Yeah, and I can one? do that. Because if I did, I'd go Double D and Drake. That's what I'm going to say. Double D is so talented, man. Double D's good. He, every time we see him. Every time I see him, he's got like a bloody nose and I don't know what's going on. I mean, just <laughs> craziness. That it is. That it is. I don't know. I don't know if we should say our choices. I, I mean, voted for voted, myself. Technically, we voted for all of them. Yeah, we picked all we of them. We made the ballot. Well, we I like voted. all those guys. It's we, an it, it, it's all my it's a secret vote. You know, we don't know who you guys vote for. You won't know who we vote for. I can't say this. <laughs> We're not releasing like any close information here, but there are some tight. Dude, tight. there are some some of these that are like head to head. Like us at a buffet sitting in a booth tight, guys. You don't understand. Tight butthole, uh, man. Tight butthole. Yes. So <laughs> this is gonna Squeeze. be a photo finish. <laughs> you better quench. You gotta be tight butthole to get around in this world, so <laughs> there's some solid choices on there, dude. But that's just male. I mean we we got women, so let's I mean let's go on to the next one. I mean, because we obviously 
we voted all those guys in there. You know, it's well, hard to narrow it down to the one. Well. But no, you could get the choices. Let's give give them the choices. Just tell them who we got. All right. Well, on the males, like I said, we went through that. The females, you had Skylar Slice, which congratulations to her. She won the TAS championship on Saturday night. Yeah. Always in Kansas. Dude, she's won gold oh, in like I, every yeah. state she's won. I was going to say. I saw that. I seen that she, she won that championship. That was nice. Uh, Nikki Knight, Callista, Erica Torres, Phoebe. Um, well, you finished the males, did you? Yeah. yeah you really? did. You yeah. listed them. Did you? You got uh, that list. So you there. also have a writing category there. Um, there's a lot of good choices in that. Um, a lot of talent in the state. We were actually in Kansas this weekend, and uh, that's all anybody could say was just how impressed they were with female wrestling in Oklahoma. Tag team division, you got Nemesis, The Express, Pen Pals, The Saints of Pro Wrestling, Dynamic Shields, Blackout, The Urban Misfits, and The Red Dirt Regulators. All solid choices, man. All solid choices. This is the thing that really impressed me was uh, Rookie of the Year. You had C.J. Ward, Gavin Dixon, Prince Mahali, Chandler the Truth Hopkins, Pitbull Keith Crawford, and Aaron the Prodigy Helms. And that's another one that's like neck and neck, man. That those are, those neck are neck. all really good guys. Share, share, share. Vote it so up. This is up. what we should do. We should just have a battle royal and let them settle who wins. Oh, that would be so awesome. we don't have to pick. <laughs> if there's a tie, we should set up a match, and that would just... Whoever <laughs> wins, Can you're the champion. Can death matches to make it just a little bit more interesting? You get the only one. <laughs> you get a free I bump. You get a free bump making sticker if you win. <laughs> All right, we had a uh, feud of the year. You had Bud Barnes, Buster Cherry, solid feud. Terry Pantera, Father Padge, solid feud. Skylar Slice, <laughs> Nikki Knight, solid feud. Awesome. Tim Rockwell, John Cross, another good one. CRD, Richie Adams, they keep getting better. Jerry Bostic, Chris Cambridge, excellent. Urban Misfits, The Express. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Uh, and Johnny Z and Brad Michaels. That was a good one. We're moving on to match of the year. Double D versus CJ Ward. One. Excellent. Scholar yeah. Slice versus Callista versus Phoebe. Triple threat ladder match for the compound. Amazing. Ladies championship. From what I hear, that one's got a whole lot of votes. Jesse Lambert watches that match a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, Barnes versus Dude, let me get the time out on here. So I added <laughs> Jesse Lambert as a friend. First mistake. And, uh, <laughs> I did too. I made that mistake about a month ago. It was... We had some pretty good conversation this weekend. <laughs> this whole weekend. Oh man, he's we should chat with him all weekend, kid, dude. So, <laughs> did he give you his rundown on his matches that he thinks should go on? No, uh, like I, I read some of that today. Like he's like, I don't remember how good it was. <laughs> <laughs> he likes belly buttons. Apparently so. <laughs> Do you like <laughs> belly buttons? <laughs> I like belly buttons. Right, I think Nathan Estrada so, is on, on top of that list. <laughs> of belly buttons. So wait, you guys are texting some person on the internet about belly buttons? Yeah, what about Well, he's, he's Jesse not? Lambert. Like, he loves belly buttons, so we have yeah. to text him about belly buttons. I saw on Facebook today that he asked Callista for a picture of her in a two-piece. She said, I don't have a belly button. Did he, did he really? <laughs> like, is this real? This is yeah. real life right now? This <laughs> real life. She said she doesn't do that because she don't have a belly button. It'd be weird. So I've decided that I'm going to start an She's award got an for Audi. a poll of that this is a troll. And here are my categories who this person really is. <laughs> troll of the year. Troll Kevin Sanchez. <laughs> Psycho Mike. Gavin Dixon. Jesse Lambert. <laughs> Jesse Lambert. The other Jesse Lambert. <laughs> I've called it. I've, I've thought her Bud Barnes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but what if we're wrong? <laughs> like, if the if Jesse Lambert's real, like, how? What are we gonna do? It's like here's the deal, dude. That apparently, the dude lives in Canada, eh? And he follows Oklahoma Pro. Follows wrestling. Compound and Mid South really close. Well, he's here's really the a, thing. If he wins Troll of the Year, we can just go up to Canada and be like, what's up, bro? We'll I, present it in person. We all have belly buttons. I told him I had a tough choice <laughs> between who my favorite wrestler was, Drake Gallows or Psycho Mike. And he goes, I like Psycho Mike. And I was like, I really don't like uh, Kevin Sanchez, though. He's mean to me. I, he goes, he goes. I, I'll talk to him for you. I, was like, I think the only reason he Kevin chose Psycho Mike is because Psycho Mike actually... To him. Kevin Sanchez got kicked off Facebook for three days for being mean to this kid. Yeah, he was in Facebook jail. Uh, Locked up. Dang, Kevin. <laughs> All right, the other categories on this list were Bud Barnes, Buster Cherry, Coyote, Chavo Guerrero Jr., Oklahoma, 
That was a fantastic match. John Cross, Tim Rockwell. The Steel Cage. Yeah. Johnny Z versus Brad Michaels. Career versus yeah, career. Johnny Z put match, Brad man. Michaels in retirement. Ooh. I enjoyed that one. That was career versus career yeah. match, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Announcer of the year, you had Milton Winkleman, Tuck Davian, Adam Patrick. The Mike. guy in the bow tie. I like that dude. I love Tuck. He's got so much enthusiasm. I wish I could rock a bow tie like We will say this. That race is kind of a runaway right now. Not spoiling anything, but yeah. And that's it. Get I out, don't bro. Run. Be sure you also check out Oakland Fans List. Listen, a lot of people today have been asking, you know, which is the better poll. It doesn't fucking matter. Well, Get one out. thing I noticed about Oakland Fans List is, like, our list is strictly Oklahoma independent wrestling. Uh, Oakland fan, I mean, I saw they had Mickey James on the list. I mean, they had a they lot of... They incorporate, like, everyone who's ever been or wrestled in Oklahoma this past year. Exactly. So, if you're throwing... If you're throwing to be fair, that's what these guys do. Like, they do have a, how do I say it, a better pulse on what's going on statewide. Hey, I, uh, that's, I, that's I what voted. That's man. I voted on I did, I voted on theirs as well. So They also had some good choices. So what they, if, they had a lot of choices. What if this Miracle on 34th Street fight that's coming up for Mid-South is amazing. Does that go on next year's card for match of the year? Possibly. Maybe. Here's we the thing. Could give them like this is special. For both these polls, it's a chance for the people that work so hard in this state to entertain us to win awards. Exactly. So if it's a Bump Monkey Award, Oakland Fan Award, doesn't matter. You're still being recognized. And like we said, just because your name wasn't on a list of ours, it can still be written. Yeah. And there's actually quite a bit in write-ins that could we possibly have a lot could of win this thing. Now, can you vote? For write-ins or... Yeah, so on ours deal, if you if you click the write-in and write your own, it also keeps track of the names in that. I okay. know that... Uh, Male Wrestler of the Year is second. In second place right now on write-ins. Woo-woo. I know that uh, Chandler the Truth Hopkins, he's got a uh, Women of the Year coming up. I mean, yeah. on the, <laughs> somebody wrote Look out Skylar Slice, Nick and I, you got some competition for <laughs> I also want to bring He's the one wrestling uh, Mickey James this Sunday. <laughs> uh, you know, get out there, vote for Oakland Fan Awards, vote for the Bump Monkey Awards. Um, there's a uh, another one I came across to do that. I the Pierce today. Awards. Yes. The what? The Pierce Awards. Awards. It's their Pierce Awards. Yes. Go find them. Vote. They're hilarious. You better My see favorite. Link. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound like something you just go Google. <laughs> It's on. It's on his Facebook. On whose Facebook? Just look. I don't. I don't. <laughs> you know, awesome. Let me. Uh, awesome guys. Y'all carry on. I'll, you're I'll you're do doing a great research. job. <laughs> Go look for this. I don't know where to find it. Got these guys out with their phones doing research now. Oh, no, no. Here at Bump Monkey <laughs> Mafia, technology comes first. Got to make sure we get our facts straight. Check the facts. <laughs> Just the facts. Nothing but the facts. Um, guys, upcoming shows. You also have IWR's Toy for Tots and Dots Foods this Sunday. Armour, Oklahoma, 2 o'clock. That is going to be a stack card. Mickey James. Is that Sunday? I that is Sunday. Sunday. Is Sunday. Isn't there is Sunday. like a Santa versus Grinch TLC coming up? It's up in Bristow. Our buddy Brad Sanders is going to be up there. Uh, there's actually a lot of people that will be up there. Yes, Grinch versus Santa. TLC. i down for that. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. A lot what of time cool is shows. that show Sundays? I think it's at like 2, two o'clock. Afternoon. Doors open at 1. 2 in the afternoon. Shows at 2. You have a triple threat ladder match for the tag team titles, X Division rules. Wow. Yeah. That should be um, impressive. It's the Red Dirt Regulators, uh, Coyote and Montesiga, and uh, Malico uh, and Zane. Oh, Malico. You that guy's guy weird. Cambridge and Boston going at it. Boston going at it in a last man standing match. Ooh. It's Mickey for the James. Title, right? Yeah, dude. That is a going to be a really exciting card. It's going to be a fantastic show. They're going to have Mickey James there? The Mafia might be down there. You never know. I have to work Sunday, guys. <laughs> Where is this at? Ardmore. 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 I like Ardmore. Quick, what? So, hour and uh, a half drive there. 
Well, we're still looking for these poles. The Freaky V's over here watching some wrestling video, you know. Carry on, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all didn't even finish the review of the show. No, we did. Oh, did you? How would you know? You weren't there. We I ended know, with I the, wasn't uh, there. Y'all got to tell me these things. We ended with that tag team match. I mean, yeah, it was oh, a good yeah. show. It was a good show. It was I'll actually... I anything uh, you say. I'm sorry. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> we did commentary together for three and a half hours on Sunday night, so... It I hate was, your face. <laughs> trust me, after spending three days with you, I hate your face too. It was a really good Mid South show. There was a great crowd. It was loud. It was hype. So, you know, I feel almost incomplete not watching any wrestling this week, like live in person. I don't know how I feel about that. You should uh, you watch go home and you cry yourself watch to sleep. Like, I'm, I'm well, I said live. It's all pro. A couple other things before we wrap this up. Frank's still looking. We will announce our Hall of Fame class on Tuesday. The Hall of Fame You can check that out. Tuesday morning starting about 10 o'clock. We'll release one every hour, you think? Sure. God, that's a lot of work. I don't do anything anyway. No, because here's the process, Frankie. You don't understand. My phone goes ding every time someone does something. But Monkey Mafia. So then I, in turn, I have to look and check my phone. So I'm like, oh, so every hour I'm going to be checking my phone yeah. to see who's in the Hall of Fame. Well, I can't well, say I that. already know, so I'm not going to check Squad. The Hall of Fame guys, <laughs> we actually, we yeah, thought about this long and hard. We thought about this long and hard. And, uh, long and hard. We're going to get them some special gifts, and we're going to have a special Hall of Fame dinner for them. Side note, I'm, I'm flipping through Facebook. Did you see the video of the... Dude that punched the kangaroo. Yes, it was dude, awesome. That dude's got some balls, man. Like, my thing is, Did you see the picture of that Jack kangaroo? Yeah, it's like, looking at he punched right? my brother. <laughs> this, is my, this is my thing, dude. He doesn't just punch it. He squares up with the kangaroo. Uh, oh, yeah. That and was then the legit. kangaroo's like, bro, did you really just hit me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he deserves a contract. Hey, here's my thing. How do you let your dog get put in a headlock by a kangaroo? How does that come about? Well, dogs are stupid. <laughs> and they do shit. <laughs> I mean, you just walk up. Hey, that was just crazy. Honestly, if my dog was put in a headlock by a kangaroo, I'd probably go run and try to drop kick this. <laughs> well, this is my thing. Like, a kangaroo the, could kill you. Huh? <laughs> like, the kangaroo once. squared up. <laughs> <laughs> he can do it once. <laughs> so, Brent, give us one of your amazing facts. Oh, my amazing facts? Uh, there's so many of them. Like, uh, there was a poll in 1920 that the ocean was made of water. So, really? Wow. That's, uh, just throwing that out there. If people don't know about it, you can uh, Google it. It's on there. The ocean is water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, folks, we will, uh, the link to our awards is on our Facebook page. We'll also drop a link out there for the Oakland Fan Awards. Uh, Oakland Fan. Oakland Fan, man. That's where we get all our information from. So if you want to know anything about Oklahoma Pro Wrestling, check them out. Or ask us. We, we, ask, we, we know, check we know those guys. So, sometimes we get along, sometimes we don't. <laughs> I really think it just depends on the day with us. Yeah. And if we've like if we've not. eaten yet, it's, it's all for a common cause. <laughs> Pro like wrestling if, in Oklahoma. If you catch us before lunch, you're gonna get grouchy monkeys. Oh That's yeah, of course. <laughs> you catch us from like noon to four or five. Not good either. Yeah, true. I mean, waiting for dinner. before lunch, before <laughs> dinner, before second dinner, you're gonna get it. <laughs> so what you're saying is they need to catch I us. I have two breakfasts. So they need to catch us between double breakfast, lunch, brunch, and double dinner, right? <laughs> so that gives so you an hour. <laughs> <laughs> To get in good with us. <laughs> there you go. Folks, we're pretty easy. It's, Feed us. It's usually around 10 o'clock at night. That's when we're in a good mood. And then if you try and catch us before midnight snack, you're in trouble. That's Not true. Asleep by then. <laughs> we have bad times. I may be fat, but I don't wake up for food. <laughs> Just breakfast. <laughs> Just breakfast. Oh, so anything else you got? Yeah. You guys want to touch on uh, any WWE stuff? TLC was this weekend. TLC was this weekend. Apparently, word on the street has it, AJ Styles and Mr. Drake Gallows have matching butt scars now. They yes, do. They do. They I mean, do. That's very impressive. 
I've, I've seen it myself. And I would love to have a I've magic button. I'm, I'm going to say it's... With Gallows or with AJ Styles? <laughs> Either one. I'm going to say it, it's a good thing that Rip and his tights wasn't a, over a couple inches or yeah, everybody yeah, see that blue knot. <laughs> <laughs> so, I haven't had a chance to check all that out. Oh, oh, so we can't... Can't give any results. Give results, man. This is what we give results. I, our girl Alexa Bliss. Oh my goodness. Alexis Bliss won the women's I championship. Love that little girl. Um, mm. And You're honestly, like that belt, <laughs> that belt whoa, is whoa, bigger wait, than her. Time is this is this a Girl Meets World podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I watched Girl Meets World just earlier, <laughs> right after SmackDown. You know, I heard somewhere that that's possibly getting canceled. <laughs> what? I'm gonna cry if it does. <laughs> No. Son of a bitch. <laughs> no. No. Hey, uh, Bray Wyatt also won his first championship. That is true. That was very impressive. Congratulations. Oh, Rhino he went, deserves it. Rhino went for Gore and caught the RKO out of nowhere. Speaking of Rhino, we were talking to uh, Kenny the Zombie Jones. <laughs> he's like, Rhino is like, what do you say, all torso and thigh. Yep. Like it's, he's built so weird. He is. He's got like no calves. Got a lot of thigh. A ton of thigh. <laughs> <laughs> I got a ton of thigh too. But, <laughs> but we'll or the fact right. that he's shaped, like, and I didn't recognize who he was for the first week and a half. <laughs> Who's that <laughs> standing next to <laughs> Heath Slater? Oh, that's Rhino. That's Rhino. Oh, that's I love that tag team. I don't know if you guys do, but that I mean, Bray Wyatt has been my favorite since you know he started and. I've always liked Randy Orton, so them as a tag team, I can't really see anybody that would beat them. I mean, they're what couple what, of the top superstars on SmackDown right now. What doesn't make well, sense? Where do you go with a tag team division? <laughs> Nobody's going to oh. beat them. <laughs> Transfer them to Raw, maybe they can have Not some even more go talent. I'm, t- I'm talking about, you got so much talent. Viable tag teams on, on the SmackDown okay. roster. you got so much talent on the SmackDown roster right now. If you built the tag teams right, you could do... Some of the TLCs, some of the ta- table matches, they're, well, I mean, it's like, more of a grittier group right now. See, Because well, the, revival, the Revival dropped their titles. they got to go up somewhere. And that would be awesome. My thing is with uh, SmackDown right now is their top two contenders for the title is AJ Styles and Dean Ambrose. That's pretty much all they've had yeah. since SmackDown has started. I enjoy uh, it. Um, yeah, it's great, but who else? Are, who else is going to get in that mix? I mean, the only other big options they have. I mean, you got Bray Wyatt, Randy Orton. Yeah, those the, are the Undertaker coming back. Those are Styles. world championship caliber guys there, and they've got the tag team. Yeah, I was, and we've said this before. I would love to see Bray in that picture. I I've want, I've wanted Bray to have that title for a long time. Yes, long time. Oh, one match that didn't make sense to me. At TLC is why have Kalisto versus Baron Corbin in a chairs match? That makes no sense to me. That whole feud makes no sense. Baron Corbin is just a massive dude. He just beats the crap out of Kalisto. They had another match. Jack Swagger was coming back to feud with Baron Corbin. I don't know. Hopefully Jack Swagger gets released. (laughs) Uh, They had another match tonight, and it wasn't a chair match. And honestly, I think these matches with Kalisto have really impressed me with Baron Corbin. Like the the speed that he has for being as big as he is, I mean, it's really impressive that he's going against that little guy. I mean, yeah, hopefully he can do it in the long run. You know, maybe put him in a championship match at some point. There also was a women's no DQ match, but here's the weird thing: most of the time in no DQ matches, there's no count out. There's still a count out in a no DQ match. That don't make no sense. Gotta get them in hey, the I did find this. I will be posting the link, like I said, to the Oak LaFan Awards. Also, to the Pierce LaFan Year End Poll. Pierce LaFan. Check that out. Vote <laughs> for some good stuff. Uh, Got a lot of cool stuff coming up. A lot up. of stuff, man. I love it. Got another podcast that'll be put up Thursday. Thursday or Friday. That's, uh, with RWE superstars Christian Temple, Chris Vale, and Merrick McMichael. We'll do a complete review of Season Speedings. Complete re- review of season's beatings, correct? So for you Kansas guys, for all our so, fine uh, kin folk up I in I can't believe Salina, I missed Kansas. that show. I'm tired of missing all these XWE shows, guys. Well, next right. month. You guys got anything else? Anything? Uh, hi, I'm Brent. <laughs> Have your pets spayed and neutered? 
All righty, man. <laughs> I don't have money to do that, so I just lock them in the bathroom. Yes. <laughs> Folks, go uh, give us a like over on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Catch us on YouTube, SoundCloud. Thank you for all the support, folks, and we will see you at your next local wrestling show. Woo!